food deserts are low-income areas that do not have fresh fruits and vegetables available to them. I think of areas that don't have uh, fresh produce available. It's more like convenience stores or limited food options. Areas in different cities where there's just not good food to eat, like not healthy, nutritious vegetables or fruits, produce. There's usually a neglect. Um, just anywhere where there's low income or poverty, um, impoverished areas. Like people don't, businesses don't want to move there, people don't want to move there. I wonder if grocery stores just don't find necessarily those areas as profitable, so they might not open the larger stores in those zones. Um, but I think that's a perfect area for farmers markets and like community gardens to open up. I'm on 71st in South Chicago, and there is no local farmer's market next to me. And the nearest one is 16 blocks away and takes 30 minutes to walk there. Now I'm downtown, and the nearest farmer's market is 10 steps away. Food deserts affect my eating habits because eating healthy, as we know, is very expensive. And I'm a full-time student, so I don't have money. So fast food is something easy to get to. It's more accessible and something that everyone does when you're on the go, when you're going to, from class to class, so that's something that affects me a lot. And downtown you see tons of people, but majority of these people out here, you know, they work in like these office buildings, they have money, they have access. People that have low income might not even have enough money right then to buy the fresh vegetables, so they're just going to go where the business is. There are many food deserts everywhere in the world, but do you think there could be more markets in low income areas? Mm, yeah, I think there's definitely some hope. I know I've seen like in the Humboldt Park area, there's little farmers, like little things around the neighborhood where you can just start and maybe get some funding for the community. That's something big. So as long as there's an issue you see and there's a group of people that want to change that issue, it's definitely possible. Reporting for FSM News, I'm Lori Wilkes.